Last week, I did a video about Alexi McCammond, the lady who was supposed to be working for Teen Vogue, but who has since resigned because of 10-year-old tweets that she made that were distasteful, that were not part of the woke agenda. And because of that, because of 10-year-old uh, tweets, she has resigned. And now, since then, apparently another lady who works for Teen Vogue is now under fire, now under the, the, the wrath of cancel culture because of tweets that she made a long time ago as well but the irony of this one is that the person who is now being canceled now this teen vogue staffer was someone who was totally for the cancellation and the resignation of alexi mccammon all of this is absolutely insane but like i've been saying for a long time now the woke will in the end eat their own sjw's will eat their own and that is exactly what is happening right now over tweets that were made years and years and years ago this is insane but let's go ahead and get into this report teen vogue staffer who opposed editor over racist tweets has racist social media history huh a little bit uh a little bit hypocritical there if you ask me uh a tweet a teen vogue staffer who opposed the incoming editor-in-chief over a series of allegedly racist tweets she published when she was just a teenager is now being targeted targeted for her own controversial social media history so, uh, as the Daily Wire reported last week, Alexi McCammon was ultimately forced out over a series of allegedly anti-Asian tweets she published nearly a decade ago when McCammon was just 17 years old. Now, like I said in my video where I talked about this, you can go watch that video if you want to get more of my details and, and more of my thoughts about this, but um, I do I think that those tweets that she made were, were distasteful, that they should not have been made? Absolutely. Do I think that those were pretty terrible tweets? Absolutely. Do I think that she should be fired for tweets that she made 10 years ago? No. <laughs> it's not really that difficult. You can do both. You can say those tweets were not that great. And you can also say you shouldn't lose your job over that. Uh, the tweets surfaced just as McCammon was being tapped to lead the teen-focused fashion magazine, which has been something of a leading publication for woke ideology in recent years. And let me just ask you this, okay? Do you really want to live in a world, in a culture where you could be fired you could lose amazing career opportunities you could lose uh, just the greatest opportunities that you have worked your ass off for years because of things that you said on social media 10 years ago do you want to live in that type of world i know i don't because that is insane that is an insane clown world that i don't want to have any part of the tweets were shared in a now viral Instagram post by Diana Sui, an editor at the website The Infatuation, who wrote, I'm tired of big media organizations pretending to give a damn about diversity and inclusion. So basically calling out Teen Vogue and stuff because Teen Vogue is obviously a a company that likes to virtue signal about how much they, they really care, how much they really care. But apparently they care so much now that they are going to cancel a woman of color, Alexi McCammon, when she makes racist tweets against other women of color. It's just like, what? It's just so, it's just so ridiculous. I'm just so sick of, of all of the woke nonsense. It's just, it's, it's, it's just beyond insane at this point. McCammon turned down the position on Friday, writing in a statement that she became a journalist to help lift up the stories and voices of her most vulnerable communities as a young woman of color. That's part of the reason I was so excited to lead the Teen Vogue team and it's the next chapter. So since then, so since after all of that Lexi McCammon stuff, now there is another lady who works for Teen Vogue who is under fire. Her resignation followed a statement by 20 Teen Vogue employees publicized by the magazine's social media manager, Christine Davitt, uh, Davitt, who said that she was proud of my Teen Vogue colleagues, targeting McCammon in light of her past racist and homophobic tweets. But this is where it gets very interesting. The New York Post reports, however, that Davitt, Davitt is now under scrutiny after several of her past tweets emerged over the weekend. Tweets which also contain racially charged language, including the N-word. So now she is being canceled for the exact same thing that she was totally okay with Alexi McCammon being canceled for, which is irony, which is just like the greatest poetic irony of all time. And it, it, I have to say it does amuse me because these are people that wanted to, to cancel Alexi McCammon and now they themselves are being canceled. 
I have to say, I don't really feel bad for you because of that. If you are for cancel culture, then if you get canceled, I really don't feel bad about it. I just don't. Now, do I agree with cancel culture? Absolutely not. Do I think that cancel culture is a huge problem in our country that needs to be addressed, that needs to be shoved out the door for its anti-American neo-Marxist ideology? Absolutely. But if you are getting canceled, I have to say, I don't really feel bad for you. I just don't. Because these are the types of rules that you have set up for yourself. Uh, D David, who calls herself a queer, fat, Filipinex femme in Brooklyn in her Instagram bio, wow, still has up old posts of her own in which she repeatedly dropped the N-word, according to a report from Fox News. So I actually have a picture of those here. So Teen Vogue staffer who joined f mob forcing Alexi McCammon's resignation under fire after using an N-word in old tweets. So, uh, so as you can see here, here's some of the things that where she used the N-word, uh, and, uh, now she is being canceled for that. So Christine David, uh, David, uh, senior social media manager at Teen Vogue wrote two tweets in 2009 and one in 2010, decade old tweets. Once again, that is insane that people are going after these people for decade old tweets, but that is exactly what happened to Alexi McCammon. Christine David was totally fine with it. And now Christine David is facing the same sort of wrath, the same sort of, of heat that Alexi was. Um, in 2019, Teen Vogue published an op-ed titled Stop Using the N-Word If You're Not Black. David has said that she is of mixed Irish and Filipino ancestry. So basically, Teen Vogue is, you know, like all of this is just insane. David has since locked her Twitter account. And uh, the, the greatest thing about all of this is that literally like uh, like last year, um, uh, Teen Vogue also released an article talking about how cancel culture doesn't exist. And now in-house, there is a lot of cancel culture going on there because all these people, Christine Davitt was totally fine engaging in cancel culture against Alexi McCammon. And now cancel culture is engaging in itself over Christine Davitt. Hilarious to me, I have to say, and very, very amusing. Um, and, uh, you know, Christine Davitt, if she really, really also ascribes herself to the same things that she was ascribing Alexa McCammon to, she should indeed probably resign as well. For the best, of course. Because wokeness and all of that. Uh, I think all of this is ridiculous. I don't think that people should lose their jobs or, or lose opportunities for 10-year-old tweets. I think that is... So that is one of the most insane things that I've ever heard in my life, but that is the culture that we are creating. That is the culture that is being created by, by these wokesters. And it's going, if, if we let it continue in the way that it is, it's going to get to a point where you could be fired for virtually anything you have said in the past, anything, one little thing. You say one little thing that they don't like that a company doesn't like that, whatever, that the, that the social media doesn't like and they go after you for it and you could lose that opportunity you could be fired for that that is insane that is absolutely insane with that being said hope you guys enjoyed subscribe for new here to my channel i'd appreciate that a lot uh youtube demonetize my entire channel and i'm trying to work on getting that fixed but in the meantime if you guys are able to help me out financially at all i would appreciate that a lot links are in the description hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you later bye